Have you been shining this week, church? Because this is what we are called to do. Pastor Don this week, he shed insight into our third type of light, which is decorative light. Where would we be in the world without decorative light? The world would be a dreary, dark place. But with the right light shining, we can see the beauty of God's creation. You see, God placed in the heart of those people that are like decorative lights, the heart to create, design, perform, and so on, to magnify the beauty and the attractiveness of God. Psalm 27.4 says, One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all of the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. This passage is talking about the true beauty of God, not just physical beauty, but beauty that comes from His character, like His love, His mercy, His grace, His care, His leadership, and His provision. This is what the Bible is talking about when the psalmist talks about true beauty. And Pastor Don talked about four things that happen when we discover the beauty of the Lord. The first thing, discovering the beauty of the Lord causes us to trust Him more. When we get a taste of who God is and what He can do for us, we will not go back. Secondly, the beauty of the Lord makes us more beautiful. There is no way that we can get in the presence of the Lord and not be transformed by Him. Thirdly, the beauty of the Lord causes us to live more generously. Just like a young couple that is in love, they love to give gifts to each other. When we come into relationship with the Lord, we do the same thing. Lastly, when we see His beauty, it causes us to worship with abandon. You see, we were created to worship Him, and when we experience His glory and His goodness, we will not be able to stop from worshiping Him. The beauty of the Lord is what decorative lights get excited about, and they won't stop until the whole world sees it too.